any closer to the Hamburg fans, so I really hope there's not an incident like there was in the Stockholm derby because I am in the firing line here. Welcome to Malmo. The match later today is Malmo versus Hammerby, two of the best supported teams in Sweden. I actually saw Hammerby play last year against IE Core in one of the Stockholm derbies. Go and check that video out if you haven't seen it. But basically, none of the Stockholm teams are welcome in Malmo at all, but particularly Hammerby. And I'll speak more about that a little bit later on. Please don't forget to press the like button on this video. And if you could subscribe to the channel, then that'd be absolutely amazing. I've only got 24 hours here, so I'm hoping to cram as much of the city in before the match later. So let's get going now and see if we can find any fun stuff to do. Okay, so I found something interesting online. In Malmo, there's a disgusting food museum. I'm intrigued, I've not had any breakfast. Let's go and check it out. I love that, it was absolutely brilliant. I didn't really know what to expect because you think something like that maybe it might be a bit crap, but that is not the case at all. It was so good. You go in and your ticket is actually a sick bag and you're told to follow the red line around the room going past various different disgusting items of food. Mouse wine, who knew that was a thing? Black pudding and haggis were both in there though, which is an absolute scandal because both of those are delicious. And then at the end, you get a chance to try a few of the things that you've seen on your walk around lots of dried bugs all those are okay they taste kind of like cardboard not that i eat cardboard but you know they kind of taste like crispy and burnt the hardest bit was probably the cheese section there was some absolutely disgusting stinky cheeses in there some were all right though a lot of it you find just smells worse than it actually tastes one thing that did stand out on the walk round was this stuff called hakal. It's this rotten Greenland shark meat that they eat in Iceland. And it was described as chewing a urine infested mattress. Um, so when I, that one got pulled out, I was a little bit worried, but it actually tasted okay. Um, it smelt like a urine soaked mattress, but it tasted just like a salty fish really. So that one was all right. The hardest part was these hot sauces that they brought out at the end, there were six of them and they got hot hotter and hotter up until the last one, which was 9.1 million on the Scoville scale. I actually had to sign a disclaimer before I tried that one at the end, but it was actually okay. I think the ones before it were so bad that this one on top of that was just kind of like, eh, it's not so bad. Everyone's like looking at me waiting for me to explode. <laughs> I think it's been okay. I 100% recommend that place. If you go there with your friends, you will have such a laugh in there. It is a load of fun. But I feel a little bit sick now, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so after that, I've decided to treat myself to some edible food. I've come to the Salu Hall, a really cool food place, lots of different options here. So I'm gonna try out this pork belly wrap thing. Let's give it a go. Ooh. 
Really nice place, food's really nice as well. It was like a sweet pork belly, the bread was really soft, some nice mayo, nice bit of crunchy salad, perfect, hit the spot. Paid about six pounds for that, which is pretty much the going rate for food in Sweden. It's not the cheapest, so pretty happy with that, not too expensive. In fact, in the comments section of some of my other videos, people have asked me to provide a price breakdown of these trips. Um, so let's do that now. I'm gonna do it in pounds, get your currency converter app out if you live outside the UK, and uh, I'll walk you through it. The the return flights from Manchester to Copenhagen were £77. Uh, you actually fly to Copenhagen in Denmark and then get the train across to Malmo. That train was £20 return, which is a little bit pricey for a 20 minute train journey. Well, 40 minutes in total, but you are going from one country to another, so that's understandable. My accommodation costs for this trip are zero because I am flying back home tonight. I flew out this morning, I'm back home tonight. We're in and out in under 24 hours. The disgusting food museum was £15. The edible food that I just ate was around £6. And the match ticket was £30. All of which gives us a grand total of £148. I suppose maybe you'd throw a few beers on top of that, but for 150 quid all in, I think that's a decent bit of business. I've gone from Manchester to Copenhagen to Malmo, eaten, seen things, and will be going to a match. So I think that's pretty good. So I hope you found that informative. Uh, we're getting pretty close to kickoff time now, so I think we should head to the stadium and go and check that out. Today's game is being played at the Elides Stadium, a pretty new ground, only 15 years old, 22 and a half thousand people will be there today. But it's what's not there anymore that's actually pretty interesting and also is a big part of this rivalry between these two teams, Malmo and Hammerby. There was a statue outside of the stadium. It was a statue of Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Uh, he was born in Malmo. He started his career with Malmo before moving to Ajax and then to various other huge clubs all over Europe and becoming one of the best players in world football. But what he then did was buy shares in Hammerby. Now, as we mentioned before, none of the Stockholm clubs are thought of particularly fondly in Malmo, so that was a big no-no. The fans of Malmo were just absolutely furious with him over it thought of him as a bit of a traitor really. So the statue got vandalised, they chopped off his leg, they chopped off his nose, I think he lost a toe. In the end they just pulled the whole statue down because the Malmo fans were just constantly mutilating it essentially. So there's no love lost between these two teams and it's going to be a really good one today. Let's head into the stadium now.
to Malmo, they hit the bar earlier, ball broke in the box, tidy finish. Difficult to see what happened, Hammerby fans were going nuts. A Malmo fan tried to get to them, he's been pulled out by the police. to Malmo, they're in full control here now. <laughs> 3 0 Malmo, some great skill in the side of the box on the left hand side. Put the ball back, lovely toe poke finished. 3 0 up, it's not even half time yet. Time Malmo three Hammerby nil. Um, been totally in control, really. Really good game. Uh, Malmo have been absolutely brilliant. Actually, the third goal. I urge you to seek that one out because it was a cracking bit of skill in the box to set that up and a lovely little finish. I've struggled to bring it to you just because of the camera situation. All the pre-kickoff stuff was absolutely amazing. Really, really top marks. Swedish fan culture is just so, so good. I absolutely love it. Hopefully the second half is just as good and I don't get chucked out for filming. So let's see how we get on. said you never know but I think we do now 4-1 to Malmo immediately hit back with a goal I think that's game over Full time then, Malmo 4, Hammerby 2, we're outside the stadium, the camera's back. Really good game, six goals, what more do you want? The fans were absolutely amazing. I love our Svenskan, I love Swedish football fan culture. It is one of the best in Europe. Malmo's such a great city, I've had an absolutely brilliant day. Swedish football, Swedish fans have delivered again. I'll be back and I'll see you on the next one.